There are many fighters who are doing big things but are flying under the radar where very soon they will become legit contenders in their weight classes. So here is 10 fighters who will break out in 2018. Number 10 Tatiana Suarez is a strawweight fighter who possesses both great wrestling and submission skills. She is the winner of the Ultimate Fighter Season 23 who had got to the finals, finishing all of her opponents by submission. In the finale, she defeated Amanda Cooper by a dust choke and most recently defeated Vivian Pereira by a unanimous decision at UFC Final 120. I believe her high level grappling skills will cause the UFC strawweights a lot of trouble. She is a terrible matchup for anyone in the weight class where I believe she will definitely become a serious contender in 2018. Number 9 Joe Soto is a bantamweight fighter who had a rough start in his UFC career but now has turned things around for the better. In his UFC debut, he was given a short notice title opportunity against the champion TJ Dillashaw at UFC 177 where he lost the fight by knockout in the 5th round. He would next lose his fight to Anthony Burchak and Michinori Tanaka where he was on the brink of being cut from the UFC. Since mid-2016, he has dominantly defeated Chris Beal, Marco Beltran and Rani Yahya where he totally looks like a different fighter. He is just outside of the top 15 rankings where I believe after a few more solid wins, he will definitely become a legit contender in the weight class. Number 8 Paulo Costa is a middleweight fighter who has crushed all of his opponents violently where he's starting to make noise in the weight class. He's built like a tank and possesses so much power where he has broken his opponents with heavy strikes. He has a 100% finishing rate where no one has been able to take him past the second round. He last defeated former UFC champion Johnny Hendricks by TKO at UFC 217. With 3 stoppages in the UFC, he definitely deserves a step up in competition where I believe will definitely cause a lot of chaos in the middleweight division next year. Number 7 James Vick is a lightweight fighter who has slowly been rising through the division with his impressive finishes. His size and reach has helped him pick his opponents apart from the outside and he also possesses a very high level grand game. He has called out many top 10 fighters but they have refused to fight him due to him not being ranked. He last defeated Joe Duffy by TKO in the second round at UFC 217. With a record of 7-1 and one in the promotion, he definitely deserves top 15 competition and will definitely make an impact in 2018. Number 6 Tiago Santos is a middleweight fighter who has brutally beaten the majority of his opponents with his Muay Thai skills. He is a big powerful middleweight whose brute strength has shut down world class fighters. He has 8 wins and 3 losses in the promotion where he looks better and better each time he competes inside the octagon. He last defeated Jack Hermanson by TKO in the first round at TFC Final 119. He is currently on a 3 fight winning streak where I believe he has the ability to conquer some of the best middleweights in the rankings. Number 5 Brian Ortega is a featherweight fighter who has looked sensational since joining the promotion in 2014. He has finished all of his opponents in his UFC career so far where he is starting to look like a serious contender in the weight class. He last defeated Renato Moicano by a guillotine choke at UFC 214. As of right now, he is scheduled to face Cup Swanson at UFC Final 123 where if he is successful, he will definitely be one or two more fights away from securing himself a title opportunity in 2018. Number 4 Catlin Vieira is a bantamweight fighter who has slowly been rising in her weight class with impressive performances. Even though she is not well known, the undefeated bantamweight has been able to secure 3 dominant wins in the weight class. She last defeated former title challenger Sarah McMahon by an arm triangle choke at UFC 215. As of right now, she is scheduled to face Jermaine Durandamy at UFC Final 125. I believe if she is successful in winning the fight, she will definitely be in line for a title shot in 2018. Number 3 Alexander Volkov is a heavyweight fighter who has looked very impressive in his UFC run so far where he's looking like a potential threat in the weight class. He is a big heavyweight who has used his size and reach to attack his opponents from distance which has helped him get the victory. He has so far been able to get 3 victories in the promotion where he last defeated Stefan Struve by TKO at UFC Final 115. With the UFC heavyweight division lacking in big names, Alexander Volkov can help add interest in the weight class where I believe he will be definitely be closer to a title shot in 2018. Number 2 Kamaru Usman is a welterweight fighter who has been knocking down all of the challenges which have been presented to him where he's not getting the credit that he deserves. Since winning the Ultimate Fighter 21, he has faced nothing but the best competition where he has won 6 fights in a row proving that he is a legit threat in the weight class. As of right now, he is scheduled to face Imel Meek at UFC 219 where if he is successful, he should deserve either a top 5 or a top 10 opponent in 2018. Number 1 Justin Gaethje is a lightweight fighter who has made the most impact in his weight class with only one fight. He made his UFC debut, defeating Michael Johnson by TKO at the Ultimate Fighter 25 finale. In his fights, he pushes forward aggressively and isn't afraid of getting knocked out. He has a high finishing rate where he has finished 16 of his 18 fights violently. As of right now, he is scheduled to face Eddie Alvarez at UFC 218 where if he is successful in winning the fight, I believe he will be one or two more wins away from securing himself a title shot.